Hey, happy Monday. After this past weekend, we are now four weeks out from the marathon I've been training for, the Fredericton, New Brunswick Marathon. Uh, last week, I don't know why, but it felt like every time I did like the vlogging of the activities I was doing to start the video, felt weird for the subjects that I wanted to do. So anyway, I just like, I'm putting them all into this video. So this will just be a, the, the week's worth of all the training that I did up to this point. And despite it being a little bit clunky, I think I might just do it like this for the next four weeks as well. Then it's all in one spot and I can just focus on one subject for other videos. Yeah, I don't know. Can't stick to, can't stick to any one format. So anyways, Monday was intervals. I actually did put it into the e-bike video because I thought it was funny. It was just like normal interval training. So I did like one clip to put into that video and then decided anyway. Now I'm doing marathon interval training, five intervals at five minutes, stride pace. I could say, oh, my only feasible way to go ride today after this is to have an e-bike just to give my legs the break, you know? Okay, for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna, just gonna like tell you what day it was and we'll uh, go from there. So we're going to Wednesday. Wow. Beautiful. It is Wednesday, and that means slow run. <laughs> it's a bear. There's a bear here. It is Wednesday, and that means it is a slow run today. Today on the calendar, 13 kilometers, easy pace. And I have chosen a bit of a crushed stone trail run next to the water. Very picturesque. What a lovely place to be with the sun out wearing sweats just waiting for it to get super sweaty and gross all in all in here it's gonna happen but jeepers look at that this place is called heritage park i've actually never run past a loop that's called uh it's called the panorama loop the view is beautiful there but i'm regretting having not done that you know 15 years ago 15 years ago maybe anyway i wanted to make a point as i'm doing this run because I'm realizing it and feeling it right now that it's absolutely crazy how good I'm feeling on this Wednesday after a 30 kilometer run, like a pretty hard paced effort, 30 kilometer run on Saturday. And like a pretty good test of the heap doing a cross country, like marathon simulated loop Sunday. And then Monday, like the intervals on Monday were really, really not good, like slower than usual. But yesterday I took off and I feel super good today. So I'm very impressed and surprised with just like how quickly I'm recovering. And I think it's just like, I'm eating better. I'm taking this a lot more serious. It's crazy what, uh... can I go that way? Yeah. I'll go by you. Sure. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just, it's crazy. I've never given myself the opportunity to really take any sort of training serious. Even when I was super into cyclocross, all I did was just like commute to work really hard because I was always late, eat like absolute trash, drink a bunch of alcohol, and then like in spite of that still do well. I have no regrets. Don't have to go back to that and change anything. It's just, it's cool to see what happens when you actually put the effort in. Look at that view. Living by the ocean, pretty cool. All this progression and me growing as a human, sticking with something kind of makes me feel like when this is over, I need to find another event like beyond the mountain bike marathon stuff to keep registering for because it's super motivating. It gets you out doing something. You should, you should try it. You really should. Man, that water is like glass. Good day to ride bikes. It's been a while since we've done an Eric Cooks segment, so uh, let's just jump into this one. Eric Cooks! Yes, yes! As you can see here, we have this uh, this bowl of, what is egg? Uh, air fry, this is an air fryer. Air fried potato on top, but underneath is, uh, well, it's this. 
This is like oatmeal lentil cooked in bouillon. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Broth. Broth is the word I'm looking for. Sludge. It's basically like savory oatmeal lentil porridge, I think, with egg and potato on top. Just trying really hard to put a concerted effort into eating and fueling better. And this savory little number here is like, uh, it's like putting race fuel in your body instead of just uh, regular old unleaded fuel. So, you know, this is good, you know, depending on your body, it might be E85 or like Ignite, like race fuel. You have to, you gotta work to get it. You can't just go to any regular pump. Very mm. good, let's go! And now Thursday. Thursday, hill reps. The schedule actually had me had me doing just like speed intervals again at uh, tempo pace. But while I was in Ontario at the start of March, I missed a hill reps and I don't know, I just feel like doing, I feel like doing this instead of intervals again. It just like it helps break up the week a little bit. So I've got 13 minutes of warm up right now. I've gotten to the hill that I want to do this on. I did it on like a more of a residential road last time. I don't know, this is more scenic, picturesque, by a lake the whole time. It's a beautiful little path. I'm gonna enjoy it more. So, I'm just gonna time lapse the whole thing. And uh, we'll reconvene afterwards. Boom, eight. 250 meter long hill wrap intervals, done and dusted. Let's go! Let's go! I think my camera sat there, definitely uh, had a lot of people interested in what was going on. Everyone's like, stop looking at it. Oh, a camera. Oh, is that a camera? Why is there a camera here? Because I'm recording my workout. Leave me alone. I get it, it's weird. I'm a vlogger. My friend Ian, who comes and rides the ramp sometimes, you might know who I mean, you might not. He has gotten into running a little bit in the last little while. I was telling him that he should introduce some interval training into like what he's been doing. Cause he's just been going out and doing random runs, putting in the distance, which is great. But I was like intervals, intervals are like a really great way to, uh, you know, add to your, add to your repertoire, repertoire of workouts. And he's like, well, what, like, what's an interval? Like, why would you do intervals? And I actually didn't know the answer, so I just made something up. I was like, oh, well, you, like, you run really hard, so it brings your heart rate up. And then it trains your body to be able to recover if you're, like, in a race situation. Like, your heart rate comes down, you recover, and then you can get back into it. I just looked it up. I, there's nothing that says anything like that. <laughs> I just make stuff up. If I don't know the answer to something, I won't say I don't know. I'll just make something up. And there's nothing for Friday, so also I missed... Saturday and Sunday, but did do something today, Monday. Monday, accidental long run Monday. Typically these happen on Saturdays, but I lost Saturday to replacing the old worn out stock suspension on my Rabbit with pretty equally worn out suspension that's just coilovers. Uh, and honestly, I was gonna do the run yesterday, Sunday, but I also lost Sunday to that project. How fun is that? Awesome. So here I am, crazy behind schedule, doing my long run on Monday, today, right now. I'm like looking forward, I'm like not looking forward to the time it takes to do the run. I'm looking forward to the run, but I know how much of a day I lose when I do the, like the run's two and a half hours-ish and then afterwards i'm so dead that i can't do anything else i just know i give up a day to this so i enjoy the activities but i'm losing a little bit of the love of the time i lose by doing them anyway i could complain for hours let's do this That's auto port. I think those are Audis. Maybe Mercedes. I'm not really rich enough to know. Baby Broncos, a useless vehicle. See that Maverick? We bought one of those.
All right, 30.01 kilometers on a very, very flat course. The last time that we did 30K on this route, I, I like came from the house and just the elevation from the house to here is triple what the elevation of the Fredericton Marathon is. So I drove here this time to just stay flat the whole time, simulated a little bit better. Two hours and 23 minutes for 30K. That's a pace of... That's an average pace of four minutes and 48 seconds per, per, per kilometer, per kilometer. Pretty good. It's a good start. Or no. <laughs> what am I saying? It's not a good start. It's not a good start. It's good, it's good that I've improved. I'm at a place where I think I'm actually running pretty quick. I should. I should hit my goal, smash it, and uh, come out on top. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, that was the week. Thanks for enduring through this. I hope, um, I hope it was somewhat enjoyable, and. Uh, We'll see you again for another update when there's three weeks left next Monday. Maybe. I don't know. I'll probably give up. Who knows?